that's a nice brown. That is such a stud. Jeez. Look at the freaking mass on that thing. Like. Guys, let me catch up on uh, the situation. We drove through the night last night. Martin and I bombed down from Salt Lake to come out here to pick up sheds. Met up with Ben, you guys, at uh, the hotel. We got ourselves a hotel and uh, had woke up to have continental breakfast, which was pretty bomb. So we got all the food and today we're gonna go shed hunt. This is a special place to me. I just came down here when I was 16 years old when I first got my driver's license. This is the first spot I drove to shed hunt with my dad and my little brother Walker. So pretty cool coming back to here. It's been a while since I've been in this specific pocket. The last time we came, we found a handful of sheds and two nice deadhead bucks. So we'll see if we can do that again. It's been a few years. Ready to get it. I found a few browns up in Salt Lake, but nothing this way before in this area. So it's all new. Let's break the ice. The last thing you want to see out shed hunting is that right there. People tracks and they are all over out here. This is my first time ever shed hunting out in this area like I was saying back at the truck. So it's all new country to me. Usually there's a couple strategies to shed hunting. It can be maybe picking a spot and then just gridding that spot working tight uh, grid patterns and really combing through it or you can just bomb and just <laughs> go as far as you can and sometimes that's kind of fun to do might not be the most effective but sometimes it could be and that's kind of how I'm feeling I need to approach today just because of all the people tracks I'm seeing well I would say that we're into this hike long enough especially with three of us to find out that this is probably not the best spot for this year. There's just not the numbers. Zero sheds. So I'm just going to kind of slow down for a sec. Come to this edge and glass off into this canyon. See if I can't just pick anything. Pick anything up with the binos. Find any deer. Or glass any sheds just on these big slopes. But yeah, I would say not the zone. Not right here anyway. So we might have to regroup and maybe move on already, but we'll give it one last chance off, off this little edge and glass down and see what we can see. They do exist. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There has been mule deer bucks shedding their antlers in this country. Proof right there. We found the first antler icebreaker of the trip. That is my first mule deer shed of 2020. What a way to break in the season. <laughs> Chalk City. It's old, it's cracked. It's about pink on both sides, but you gotta start somewhere. Snack time, back of the truck. Let me show you what we're packing. Hickory smoked tuna. This has been one of my favorite treats for a while. It's like a smoked salmon filet. Crackers, some cheese, some cuties, an apple, peanut butter, and of course some mountain ops. It's about that time of the day. Nothing better than that this one, one water bottle inside there, inside the analogy. Yeah, one water bottle in there. Yeah, these packs for anybody who hasn't tried them yet. This one single stick pack is perfect for your typical water bottle. And you want to actually take a couple gulps out of it so it has somewhere to shake, unless you have an algae. Oh, Look at that nice. thing. Here. Oh man, where'd it go? I'm stoked for you guys. Oh, right here. Do you see it? Oh, dude. Is that last year's, you think? Yeah, it's still in good, good condition. Weight, I mean, good weight to him, like, got a pretty good beam, too. Yeah. Uh, up and comer for sure, but. Did you see the mass? Dude, look how he palmates out right there. <laughs> dude, he's so stoked on that today. What do you think his other side looks like? Yeah. Anyway, we just got into our second spot. Um, Eric did not want to do the intro, um, so somebody's got to pick up the slack. Anyway. So I'll probably just call myself the newest member of the Hush channel. You can see it's sandy terrain. Um, the deer like to winter in this stuff because it's easier on their hooves. After like a long year of walking around in the rocks and stuff, they come down here for a little bit of rest and relaxation, kind of like we go to the spa 
we go on vacation after a hard year. So we're down here in the deer spawn. We're gonna go see if we can pick up some sheds. Um, I don't know what else to say other than that. Um, go Jazz. All right, secrets out. Ben is part of the Hush group now. He's, uh, we bought out his channel. He's gonna sh change it to Hush Crazy. It's just gonna be another platform for us to share our content on. Check this out. We have tracks, we have droppings. A little rub. A little rub. Should be a decent spot right here. I think we're gonna scoop something. Three of us until dark in this spot. We got fresh tracks, a lot of them, through this sage and the sand. Just trying to work it slowly and really stay on some of the newer tracks. So all the tracks, for whatever reason, are kind of heading this way. So that's where I'm going. Finally found exactly what we were looking for. I just thought I saw, thought I saw a second one right here right above me big old brown let me zoom in and just show you from right here exactly what i saw because this is where i was standing right when i spotted it and it was like no brainer that's a big old brown see that big old brown <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for right there let's go snag it when we left the truck we all told each other we'd try to stay together but that's nearly impossible when everybody kind of has a different idea of where they want to go Yes, a nice brown. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Been a while for me, guys, to find a solid brown deer shed like that. No super fresh tracks around, so must be there for a while. You can see the tracks around here just kind of washed out from that last storm. Woohoo! Super cool buck. A lot of space between his burr and his G2, so. Probably would, would have been fairly wide, nothing crazy, but nice wide buck, really pretty frame. Got that classic look from the side, the G2 up, then goes down. Pretty sweet. Not a bad way to start the 2020 uh, shed season. It's been a long time since I've really focused a few hikes on deer sheds. I want to do that a few more times before we really switch it to elk, but that's a great way to start the season for me. We are finally on the board. I was, uh, Going through a spot, I mean, you could see a good amount of tracks. One of those spots where you just tell yourself, like, there has to be a shed here. Sure enough, I kind of was exiting the spot where I thought for sure there'd be a shed. Looked over, saw this guy chilling, tines up. Looks like a two point, like a bigger two point. Walk over and check it out. There's been so many boot tracks in here, so I'm happy with that. Just a nice tall two-pointer. Hopefully that's an icebreaker. Looking through this stuff, you can see it's pretty easy to walk by a shed, so. The big two, mega two. You guys, finally, we got a chunky brown. Yes, it looks good. I was so tired. I was just like walking up this hill, like dying. Oh my gosh, that's one of my best freaking sheds. Oh, it's busted. Oh my gosh, that's a stud. Probably one of the most massive brownies I've ever picked up. Oh, yeah. That is such a stud. Oh, he's broken, but he probably had something. Jeez. Look at the freaking mass on that thing, like unreal mass on that buck. Freaking tank, baby. Man, this last little zone I've been working through is probably the, the most amount of fresh tracks and fresh sign. A lot of beds on the shady side of the ridge too, but not a single shed since I found the big four. I'm uh, kind of turned around, headed towards the truck. The last I looked, I had almost done four miles in a little over two hours. It's like, what do you do? You can try to find a spot and really work it, but I haven't really found that spot that got me excited yet or a shed that got me 
excited like that, like I said. So just kind of doing one lines for now. What is that? Oh, baby. Oh, look at that gnarly freaking brown three. That's a big old brownie. Oh, it's a big old tall four. Look at that extra fork. It, I didn't see has a bladed up. Look at that eye guard. Sweet, not the other side that I was after, but a sweet shad. Okay, we're getting extremely close to the truck. We are gonna check the Onyx map. Tracking most of my track. We've gone eight miles, three hours, 59 minutes, 20 seconds. So two miles per hour average. Not sure what the other guys have picked up. Haven't had any communication with them for a while. But I'll tell you what, a lot of boot tracks, a lot of people been out getting after it, which is cool. People enjoying public land. I'm gonna meet up with the guys, hopefully back of the truck. Sun's about to go down. There's still a little sun on the top of the hills over here. Then we'll have to head back. But just a reminder, guys, we have a lot of discount codes. Uh, the one you can use for Onyx map is HUSH. Most all of our codes are HUSH. And of course, all the links are in the description box if you guys wanna get any any of the things that we use. Guys, the day is not over. We have another shed. <laughs> oh, not far from the truck either. It's probably an old one. Yeah, a couple year old. Three point right by the deer tracks. Bleached out on both sides and a little bit of a crack coming along on that beam. It's so funny how you could walk all day long and now here I am maybe two minutes from the truck and we find a shed. Honestly, this has been where the majority of sign is, is where I picked up this two point way far away in that little section and then right here by the truck. Boom. Yeah, probably two years on the ground, I'd say. Always hard to tell in this uh, desert. Everything gets dried out so quick, but maybe one year. We have one member back to the truck. There he is, Chunky Boy. Dang, that's cool, man. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh. It's heavy, like right here and right here. Way heavy. You found it? Two bucks. I think either, I don't know if it was you, but somebody jumped him and they like ran at me. Four bucks, two shed bucks, and then two bucks about like this. Yeah, did you see the big one though with cheaters? Um, I couldn't tell with them running, but I was like, how are they still passing? I know, the biggest ones. There's a, there's a buck that's like 190 with them. So what'd you find? You got a couple whites? I found this right off your boot track on the way back. Dang it. Or I guess bigger too, but just little. Man. Right by other boot tracks, I saw, ended up seeing me seeing a guy and then seeing probably at least seven different boot tracks. Yeah, lots of boot tracks Ranging in there. From huh? tennis shoes to hardcore boots. Uh, the found shoe. A found a trail camera too. Really? Stealth camera that someone had out. Well, hopefully Ben makes it back before dark. Hopefully he's got something. I thought I saw his boot tracks in the next canyon over. Hey, why are you being out so late like that? Dude, it got dark on me. I was like... You're scaring us. On the, on the cliff. No skunk, boys. No skunk. No skunk. Oh, you got some brownies, huh? <laughs> we got the brownies. You found the brownies, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. Nice. No sheds on the back. You hiding something in there? <laughs> Is he hiding He's something? Hiding something. This one. Let's get it. Dude, I don't know you're talking You'll about. You'll never know, dude. Oh, ho, ho, heavy. Is there two? Yeah. Dang. The other one's heavier. Look at that base. It's another lefty. It's no big deal, dude. Oh, Ooh, oh chunky. I told good? you it was heavy. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Broken, dude. Oh, so cool. Dude, I'm so glad you found something. We all at least got to fill brownie today. Yeah. <sighs> that's a wicked one right yeah, there. Yeah, what is that? I don't, couldn't figure out if this is an extra, if that's his G2. 
Or if you had another fork here. Uh, it's pretty wide, huh? Yeah, it's a big old like break right there. Could have been he a had fork. That much. Probably just a point, but no dice. We're like, he why would he be late? Like why would he show up after dark? <laughs> His either new map doesn't work or he found <laughs> something worth looking for the other side. So looks like he found a couple. Glad, dude. You guys did good? Yeah, I'm glad we all oh, got it. Oh, that thing's freaking shot, dude. It's pretty oh, sweet. That's a sweet shit. That, dude, that's what I love right there. That's the one that you called me? Yeah. That's freaking, that's freaking dope. Oh, yeah, dude, it's him. <laughs> for sure. <laughs>